In Chinese mythology long ago, in the vast expanse of the celestial realm, there lived a godly emperor, the Jade Emperor. He ruled over heaven and earth with his court from a heavenly palace as magnificent as the universe itself. Gods and goddesses floated above the clouds, dined in banquets, and enjoyed a heavenly life. Legends of this heavenly palace have been retold across generations, so it is no coincidence that the Chinese space station is named Tiangong, or Heavenly Palace. The first module was launched 29th April 2021, and China finally completed its the station after one year of construction in 2022, making it the third country after the US and Russia to have its own space station. Coupled with the Tianzhou cargo spacecraft and the Shenzhou personnel spacecraft, the space station represents the first step towards a long-term home among the stars for humanity. It was designed to have a minimum lifespan of 10 years. The station consists of three modules, the Tianhe core module and its two labs, Wentian and Mengtian. The three modules form a T-shape when fully assembled. The Tianhe core module consists of living quarters, a service section, and a docking hub and provides control for the space station. The core module's life support systems separate water into hydrogen and oxygen to be used for fuel and oxygen, respectively. The Wentian Lab was launched on July 24, 2022. The Wentian Laboratory module provides additional navigation, avionics, propulsion, and orientation control as backup functions for the Tiani core module. In addition to research, the module also hosts the Tiangong Classroom, where astronauts live stream a lecture to classrooms across China. So far, the astronauts have given classes on a number of microgravity phenomena. The Mengtian Lab was launched on 30 Rus Furs in October 2022. It consists of a lab area, a loading bay, and an airlock. It allows 32 cubic feet of space for astronauts to operate and live. The experiments in the lab mainly focus on microgravity, material science, and fluid dynamics.